Who was your worst sexual partner and why? Can I be your sneaky link? I mean, shit, what's up? How many niggas you got in your phone right now? What's your favorite position? Have you ever cheated or got your big bag? Who is my worst and favorite ex? Matter of fact, I'm gonna drop your name in this video. Why me and you not together? Cause you're ugly. Bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gonna sit down and miss it. Call him a trick and he don't get a holler. Bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gonna sit down and miss it. Call him a trick and he don't get a fee. He know he giving his money to make it. What's up, millionaires? It's your fave Shanice Millions, and today I got a good Q&A video for y'all. I feel like now that my subscriber count is starting to get up there a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I want to give y'all a little more information about me. You know, your girl, Shanice Mill, period. All the timestamps will be linked down below, so if you want to skip to a certain part of this video, it should be down here below. I want to put a disclaimer. Um, Family, mommy, daddy, my sisters, my little brothers... If y'all watching this video, click off. Just click off. All my socials are down here below. I'm not going to do too much talking. Let's get right into the video. So before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Anna Louisa Jewelry. I have worked with this company before in one of my recent videos. And once again, they blessed your girl with a few items. So I'm going to put y'all on real fast, okay? So the first thing you need to know about Anna Louisa Jewelry is they craft high quality pieces at very affordable prices. And what that means is you can't beat it. That means you're getting top of the line quality for affordable prices for everybody, baby. Okay? It's simple as that. There's nothing else to it. This jewelry is amazing. Obviously, to preserve the jewelry, you don't want to get it in water. You want to take great care of it. But ultimately, the pieces are great. They're lightweight. They match just about anything. And you can mix and match all your pieces. Secondly, Anna Luisa Jewelry is carbon neutral. And what that means is all of their packaging and products, everything that will be sent to you is completely safe and harmless for the environment. So not only are you getting top of the line jewelry, affordable prices, but you're also helping the planet. Why haven't you clicked the link in the bio yet? <laughs> Third on the list, they have great, unique pieces. Everything from elegant pieces to casual pieces, rings, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, matching sets, and I'm gonna give you guys all the details on my set. So what I'm wearing right now is the matching diamond and necklace set, and of course this set will be linked down in the description box below. They are sold separately, but of course you can put them together. They also sent me another pair of earrings, and it's more like a flower, and that one is gold, and it has a cute little emerald green um, circle in the middle, and I think that's really cute for like more sunny days, cute, casual, on the go type of vibe. They have not one, not two, not three, but four upcoming sales for the holiday season. Even after the holidays, you can use my discount code Shanice Millions 10 for your personal purchase. Down in the description box below is their website, the links to my pieces, and everything else you need to know, including the discount codes for this company. With that being said, I want to say thank you, Anna Louisa Jury, so much for sponsoring this video. Guys, make sure to go check them out. Now, on to the nitty gritty, good, juicy questions that y'all really came for okay so let's get right into it now i'm not gonna hold y'all some of these questions i seen i was a little like oh baby you 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 tried it and i think some of my subscribers actually follow me and submit the questions so if you see one of your questions well i'm not gonna put their instagram and the like the picture or anything in the video but if you see one of your questions just know girl thank you for subscribing to me and thank you for following me on instagram so i'm trying to think should i start off with the juicy stuff because it's a lot of juicy stuff like it's a lot of like real risky i don't know i'm just trying to think what should i start off with simple or should i start off with juicy hmm i think i'm gonna start off with a juicy question so the first question i'm gonna start with who is my worst and favorite ex I've only been in two relationships, so obviously one is the worst and one is the fave. But I, to be honest, both of them niggas ain't shit. <laughs> to be honest, all the niggas is just trash. I'm not gonna call any names because clearly they know who they are. But I'ma say, I'ma just go, I'ma use their initials. My worst ex would be J. And if y'all know, niggas who names start with the letter J, just run. If his name start with J, run the other way. Okay, and then my favorite ex, I wouldn't even say my favorite, but like, if I had to choose, I mean, like I said, I only got two, so obviously I know who's worse, so I, my fa favorite ex would be the one whose name starts with the letter I, so <laughs> moving on. The next question is, 
why me and you not together? Cause you're ugly. <laughs> no, I'm playing. 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 We not together because I don't want to be together. Why would we be together? <laughs> like, um, did I miss something? Like, why would we be together? Um, and you know who you are. Well, I'm not gonna ask a couple y'all who asked that question. So, yeah, y'all might not know. But um, this answer goes for everybody. Kind of, sorta. The last thing I need is a nigga who just gonna distract me. Like, I don't. I'm too focused. I got so many goals ahead of me. Like. Real shit. Like, I just, I can't afford to be distracted. It's a cute little, you know, a little flirt here and there. Go out here and there. But to be together with somebody, and y'all niggas don't be for real. I'm not gonna waste my damn time. The next question is, who is my celebrity crush? My celebrity crush is not a wig. That's my celebrity crush. He's just so fine. Like, he is. And the crazy thing is, I don't even like light scans. Like, I don't. Like, my worst ex was a light skin. Once that nigga, like, really broke me down, it was like, yeah, no. Light skins is a wrap. Obviously, I can't say all light skins are like that, but that was enough for me. <laughs> One and done. Baby, I love me a chocolate man now. Like, I want me a nice chocolate. That's my type. I love me a chocolate man. And just happened to be, the next question is, what's your type? Asking for me. My type, I like... I'm 5'1", I think, so I like taller guys. Obviously, I like taller guys. Um, I like dark skin. And I'm not saying you gotta be like seven foot type shit. You don't gotta be super, super tall. But as long as you got like a good height on me, we good. But yeah, I like tall guys, dark skin, chocolate, tatted up. You know what I'm saying? Um, dreads or waves, I don't really have a preference between the two, but I like dreadheads. But like I said, I like both, so it's not really a big deal, but I love dreads. Pretty teeth, like, oh my gosh, y'all. Like me, I got a pretty smile. Pretty teeth is such a big thing to me, like, I just don't think I'm mature enough to handle somebody whose mouth is just, ugh. Like, I just, I don't think I'm mature enough. Like, mentally, I'm not old enough, I think, to just say, okay, he missing two, three teeth. It's all good. No. <laughs> That's not the vibes. That's not what I'm going for. That's not what I like at all whatsoever. Like, pretty teeth is a must. And like I said, that's just, like, physical, physically. Like, what I'm going to try to do physically. None of that stuff matters if you're mental is right like if your mental right but you don't fit fit the you know the type i guess it's not a big deal to me because as long as you you can have a fine nigga you can have a fine all the bitches want him he he up there you know he look good but he could be lame as fuck let me get myself together before i try to get with somebody else you know what i'm saying like y'all be dating people off of how they look and that's the problem like obviously let them be attractive but the mental is way more important than how they look or what they got and let me tell you something, money don't unland you. <laughs> Just because a nigga got money do not mean he ain't land no more. Yeah, he got a Miri jeans on and a, a Dior shirt, but he's still lame as hell. I'm sorry. You're still lame. What is my dream vacation? I've been to Paris. I've been to Barcelona. I've been to Africa. I've been to London. And I think my dream place was Paris. I think I would rather go to like um, Greece. Ooh, Santorini, Greece. Now that I did all that other stuff, I think Santorini, Greece is probably like my dream vacation. It's so beautiful. Have I ever done a one night stand before? No, I don't think I will either. I'm just not that type of girl. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you that type, do your thing, sis, but me, mm -mm, no. Have you ever cheated or got your lick back? <laughs> On a serious note, like I'm a lover girl. Like I'm a lover girl for real. Like, no, I have never. Damn, wait, have I cheated before? <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me think. I don't think I've ever, I don't want to say I don't think. I have never cheated before. Like, like have I mentally checked out of a relationship? Yes, I have definitely mentally checked out. But have I like physically like went out and cheated? Like kissed somebody, fucked somebody, went on a date with somebody while I was in a relationship with somebody else? No. Has that been done to me? <laughs> Too many times to count. <laughs> like, it's real sad. But it is what it is. We grown now. We grown. And I mean, I just don't see the point in it. Like, just leave. Like, ain't no point in trying to get your lick back because now you just fucked up. Like, can I be your sneaky link? I mean, shit, what's up? <laughs> no, no. I don't do sneaky links. I don't do no links. I don't do nothing sneaky. I don't mess around like that, baby. Nine times out of ten, you probably got a girlfriend, and that's the problem. Because, baby, I don't want nobody in my DMs coming to me as a woman. I don't want nobody looking at me crazy for following their boyfriend. Okay? No. Mm -mm. I don't want those type of problems. No, I cannot be your sneaky link. Can we collab? Of course, as long as you keep it professional, baby. Of course. 
Some of y'all is wild in these questions. This one says, have you ever faked an orgasm? <laughs> I don't know if I should answer that question. Cause I mean like, we grown as hell. We grown as fuck, like, um, yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Moving on. Biggest turn on and turn off. I don't know if you mean like regularly, like non-sexual or if you do mean sexual, but I guess I'll just give you both, I guess, I don't know. Non-sexual, my biggest turn on is probably a nigga that smell good, like, and mm, let me not say, no, 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 I said it bad. Hygiene, because that that falls under the category, like smelling good falls under the category of hygiene. So hygiene, like if you always got your hair cut, whew, if you always smelling good, mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you take care of yourself, if you prioritize self-care, that's very, very attractive to me. And manners, like, open the door for me. I shouldn't have to tell no nigga to open the door for me. And I don't mean just the doors to the establishments. I don't mean doors to just, like, buildings or restaurants. I mean the car door. Like, I'm sorry, my daddy set the standard high as hell for these niggas, and one thing I'm not gonna do is set up a list. I shouldn't have to tell a nigga, hey, you need to open my door. No. I don't wanna have to tell a nigga, hey, I like flowers, bring me some flowers. I should never have to tell a nigga that. So that was turn on. My biggest turn off, non-sexually, would probably be obviously your hygiene not being up to par because I don't like a stink nigga. Mm -mm. Selfish and stubborn. In every relationship you learn, don't get me wrong, you learn something in every single relationship, but you have to be willing to learn. Like you have to be willing to learn me. Learn how I am. Like I said, just like it's vice versa, I'm gonna be willing to learn you. Like my last nigga, this not about him. Hold up, before I start getting my feelings, this one about him. Ooh, another, I wouldn't say this a turn on, but like something I like. If y'all don't know, I'm from South Florida, I'm from Broward County. And it's just the, it's just the culture, like gold teeth. Like a nigga with a mouth full of gold, like, I don't know. It just do something to me. As long as you have a pretty smile underneath. I can't stand with a nigga and best in gold teeth before he get braces. Baby, did you think that through? Your teeth look like God just threw them in your mouth. Like, no. Get you some braces before you get you some diamonds in your mouth. Get you some braces before you get a mouth full of gold teeth. Like, that's not attractive. Ugh. But okay, I guess sexually. <laughs> sexually, a turn on is affection. Like, I grew up not really, like, in an affectionate household. She didn't raise us to, like, hug on one another. Like, touch on, not necessarily touch on one another, but, like, you know, just hug each other. Like, give each other, like, physical affection or, like, words of affirmation. Like, we didn't really say I love you to each other a lot. So in a relationship, I had to learn like that's normal. And so now that I do know that that's normal to want and get out of your partner, I think that's a big turn off for me. Like physical touch and words of affirmation. A turn off sexually would be a nigga that don't know what he doing. How are you ready to please you before you please me? Like, no man. No man. I should be first. <laughs> and then you should come afterwards. This is a good question. And honestly, I'm healed. I'm great now. So I'm going to just make I'ma answer it. Have I ever been a side chick? Yes. <laughs> Knowingly, no. But have I ever been a side chick before? Yes. These niggas is dirty and grimy, okay? Go through that phone. The one of the worst things I could have did was go through that phone. But baby, that phone set me free. I seen this bitch, that bitch, your bitch, his bitch, her bitch. I seen all the bitches in that nigga phone and it just like broke me down. <laughs> like, that was some shit I'll never do again. No, I'm lying. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> if I have to, if I feel like I need to, I'm gonna do it again. Cause baby, I'd rather know the truth. Y'all on Instagram be like, oh, I never go through a nigga phone. I'd rather sleep good at night, baby. It's plenty of the nights to sleep good. I need to know if I need to sleep good tonight or if I need to beat your ass tonight. That's what I need to know. What's your favorite position? I don't know, I like them all to be honest. I don't think I got a favorite. The next question is how many bodies you got? Really, nigga? The next question is how we met. We met at my old job and Obviously, my subscriber's not gonna know who I'm talking about. We were supposed to do a video together. Matter of fact, I'm gonna push it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna drop your name in this video. Touch Money B. Yeah, Mr. Big Time, Mr. 13K subscribers. I was supposed to do a blind date for you. And then you just kept telling me, no, never mind. You're not gonna do it with me no more. So I don't know what your problem is. Touch Money B, he a YouTuber, y'all. I'm gonna tag him somewhere down here. And y'all gonna tell him why he didn't put me in a blind date video. The next question is, what made you want to do YouTube and why? You are so pretty. <laughs> You know, I try. You know, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see my head done, you know, edges laid, you know, lashes on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I try. When you a bad bitch, you don't got to do too much. When you wake up a bad bitch, you ain't got to do too much. 
I just feel like everybody always told me I had a YouTube personality and I kind of just went for it but I feel like when the pandemic came we was all in the house I was a senior in high school when the pandemic came and I didn't have nothing else better to do but I just wasn't consistent I was so scared that people who I went to school with were gonna like judge me and laugh at me and talk about me and then I realized who gives a fuck I'm <laughs> like who gives a fuck if this is something that I like to do if this is something that I'm interested in and I want to do it who cares what anybody else got to say this is a good question this one says if you're gonna only do one position for the rest of your life which one would it be probably i don't know i like missionary but i like i don't know i think i would do i think i would do missionary for the rest of my life i just feel like missionary is more loving like it's not like y'all just having sex like y'all shouldn't just be having sex just to be having sex anyway but like it's more intimate like it's more in your face it's more passionate that's the word i want to use passionate it's more passionate like yeah i probably go with missionary how many niggas you got in your phone right now oh no <laughs> But on a serious note, I ain't got no nigga. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it at a few. I'm a single, beautiful, fine young woman, and it is what it is. Okay, this is a decent question. All right, I'll, this is the last question I'm gonna ask. This question says, "What is your ideal date? Why? So you could, so you could do it. If you ain't gonna do it, don't ask. But I'm gonna answer the question anyway. My ideal date would be." I like I like fairy tale shit, and that's the problem. I like fair I want fairy tale shit from hood niggas, and the two they they don't clash. I want to go to brunch. I want to eat. I want to you know go somewhere both of us have never been before. Um, I want to I like action stuff. Like I like stuff that's interactive. Like I'm more of like a mental person. I don't really care for material things. I rather us go make memories versus you buy me a bag or something. Like that's just how I am. But like something that's gonna like get our adrenaline rushing. Like just spend time with each other throughout the day. And then I want to go to the fair. I've always want to go to the fair. Like in the movies, how like the boyfriend like do like the little hammer thing, and the bell ring at the top, and he will be like a teddy bear, and then we walking around, and then we get on a Ferris wheel. You know, I like fairy tale shit. That that type of shit I like. And then we're going to end the night at probably like a hotel, like an Airbnb. And I want to walk in and I want the room to be decorated. Balloons to the ceiling, rose petals on the floor, a good bath ready, candles lit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the type of shit. That's probably my ideal date. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got to know a little more about me. My social medias will be linked down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. And become a millionaire, baby. Stop waiting. Join the team today. <laughs> Thank you so much again to Anna Louisa Jury for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use my code ShaniceMillions10 to get 10% off your next purchase with them. And I'll also put all of the holiday sales and their discount codes in the description as well. Love you guys. Bye.